Alright, what's going on guys? I'm continuing my Valcam series and right now we're on Villa. I'm gonna go through Aviator, uh, Statue and Kitchen. So yeah, let's get straight into it. I don't wanna waste any time. The first camp, I like to kinda of put it in study, but there's kinda of not a lot of great spots. The one that I like to do is up here, right up there. And you kinda of put it like right as close as you can to that beam, so that when people walk in they can't see it because of the beam. At this point, when they're here in the room, they're not gonna be looking behind them, so they're not gonna like find it. Um, and in this camp, we're actually study as well as anybody walking into the to the site door which is the most important part to be able to see so that's that's me study cam that i like to do i'm gonna show you a cam for long again the, the, these these cams are not very like amazing there's not like a lot of amazing spots but i'm just going to show you in case you don't know any of these spots so for long i'll just kind of put one in this cupboard here um which they like the only way they can say this is if they're actually like looking at it here but by the time they're here somebody's either 90 or somebody's swinging them from sight or they're getting the visible to the holes on the wall here so at this point they're not going to be looking for it but it's not easy it's not it's not hard to spot if they do end up looking this way though so that's a downside to it if you want an alternative you can put one up here which is a little bit more out of the way like it's a bit it's an area that no one's really going to be looking at and there's a good chance that they don't even spot it so that's that's another option a little bit better than that one um and the sees a little bit less than what that sees though so it's up to you which one of these you would rather use so i also like to put a 90 cam but a lot of people make the mistake of kind of putting them up here so that it can stay up like long like a lot of people kind of put it up there but then when people like shoot the default cam they'll just see it so like you kind of have to change it up a little bit um so a couple of different options or like to put it more down this way so it, it won't see long but it still sees kind of 90 just so it's not like when you're looking up here to see this camera and you spot one there it's like it's a bit it's a bit, it's a bit shit you know what i mean so there's one option and this sees 90 like that, you can, if you want to see for somebody like a thermite or, or somebody just sitting 90, you can see for them from below with this cam. So that's one option. As well, you can also put a cam up here. This cam, I do like to use this cam, but it's more for just to see for because it doesn't see all the way to 90. It kind of just sees the hallway here. So it'll see up to about here. So you can just see my legs there. So th this is mainly good for just getting a C4 when you know they're going to come from this side, like from the, study, the statue side of the map. Um, and you can just get a C4 when they're running past. There's one option as well. Um, now for a red cam, a red top red cam, I don't, a lot of people do the cam under here, which you can still do, but it's a very, very common camera these days. So generally this just ends up getting shot. So what I like to do is I'll, I'll kind of put it up here instead. Oh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to destroy the books. You want to put it a little bit more to the left so that it doesn't destroy any of the books. If you do end up destroying them, just put it against the other books. Um, and this sees up landing and it gets when when they're in statue it gets blocked by the books so unless they're like actually drawing it out and see it there they're not going to notice it another option as well if you want a, a more hidden red cam you can kind of put one underneath this sofa and um, if, if you want a general sort of idea of how to find out exactly where this is above just ping it and then go below and then you'll see where exactly where it is from the ping and then you can just make holes but this is if you don't know like exactly where the vertical is and then there you see the bottom of it there you just put it on the bottom like that but that's not it's, i mean it's it's a little bit more hidden than if it was on there so that's that's another option you can use if you want to do that but yeah that's all the cams that i kind of like to do for this av site i'm gonna go on to the statue site now. so uh, so for statue cams um i'll generally i'll put the first one in master or i'll put one in master at least and i'll put it underneath the bed here so to be able to do this you need to ping it and go below and to find out where it is if you don't know where it is from below I've done this a lot so I know where it is from below. But so you want to go below it. Right about here. And then throw it through. And then this sees all of Master. Obviously you, can, you can't you can like see the whole bodies but you'll be able to see the feet when they're running around and stuff. And it's a really hidden cam. It's a good cam that one. Um, the, the attackers have to actually prone to be able to see it and shoot it. So it's a good cam to use. So as well as that I like, I like to use a top red drone uh, camera. Sorry. And generally, I'll probably use this camera here, the one under here, the one that I said I don't really like to use for AVG. This, this is because it gets to see the long hallway, the 90 long. Um, and, and if I was to use the, the camera like on here, or the camera underneath there, it won't see that long. So I like to use that. So I'm going to show you a bit of a devious strategy right now. Um, there's, a, there's a cool thing you can do in bathroom here, where if you put a VAR cam up in bathroom, I'll kind of just put it up here, like that. So it's a bit out of the way. Um, and this obviously it sees it sees the bathroom here. But what I like to use it for is if you come down to uh, to kitchen, you can go and just kind of ping this here. 
So it's there. If you put the C4 like a little bit left of the ping or, or on the ping, the C4 is actually the C4 is actually underneath concrete. So what that means is that when you're in like when you're pushing in the bathroom, if you if you have like an IQ or something trying to shoot the C4, it's underneath concrete, so it's not actually destructible. And uh, when 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 an attacker goes over it, obviously you can still blow them up. So that's like it's basically an un invulnerable C4 to people that are above it. So that's a really cool strategy if you want to try that, implement that in your games. This this is something I do nearly every round. All right. So for the kitchen site, I generally like to um, go with the vibe of getting some vertical cams as well as a camera to watch the hallway. So to watch this red hallway here and see if anybody comes in mortal, the cam that I like to use is kind of just up here. Um, because it's a little bit out of the way and uh, if somebody comes in from piano it doesn't they can't really see it so it, it's a good camera it'll, it'll survive and it sees all the way down the hallway all the way down to the plants down there so it's a really good camera to see if anybody's coming from all over coming up like trying to lurk up uh, red stairs here or kind of come down from red stairs or something like that it's a good camera to see that now there's an if you want to watch a if you want to come for china this uh this room here china you can kind of put a cam sort of in this drone hole here, but it's a little bit risky because... Oh shit. It's a little bit risky because attackers sometimes like to come and put a uh, claymore on that drone hole. But if the, if you if you're feeling like they might not do that, then you can kind of pop on there if you want to try that to see a China cam. Or another option is to kind of just pop one in China. But the the, the problem with putting one in China, like the, sort of there, is that the info you get obviously is when they're already in, so it's a little bit late. A little bit late info, so it's up to you if you want to do that. Now, when, when I'm talking about the vertical cams, I'll generally kind of do the same the same cams I'll do for statue. I'll do the the one under the bed in master. So generally, um, is like for the vertical cam, I'll just put the cam in master. So I'll put it like under the bed here. Open the floor, like that. Boom, on the bed, and again it sees all the master. So that's that's the master cam that I'll do. Alright, so that's every Valcam that I, that I like to use for Villa. If you enjoyed, drop a like and I'll see you in the next video.